Many people suffer from vertigo, but do not know exactly what the cause is. There can be many causes for this problem, but a simple vitamin can drastically reduce these unpleasant symptoms. Stay with me. In this video, we talk about the causes of vertigo, and I will present some effective methods to combat this problem. Vertigo, characterized by the disconcerting sensation of feeling off balance or experiencing a perception of spinning, is a common issue affecting millions of people worldwide. Although often mistaken for a condition in itself, vertigo is actually a symptom of various underlying conditions, generally linked to problems in the inner ear or brain. The primary symptom of vertigo is a sensation of spinning, either of the environment around you or a feeling of spinning within your own body. This sensation could range from being hardly discernible to being so intense that it hinders your ability to maintain balance and carry out routine tasks. Episodes of vertigo can arise abruptly, lasting merely for a few seconds, or they could persist for an extended period. In cases of severe vertigo, symptoms may be unrelenting and persist for multiple days, greatly impeding everyday life. Additional symptoms may include a loss of balance, nausea, vomiting, a feeling of fullness in the ear, tinnitus, ringing in the ears, and nystagmus, abnormal rhythmic back-and-forth eye movement. Benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, BPPV, is the most common cause of positional vertigo. BPPV is a physical issue that takes place in the inner ear. It happens when certain calcium carbonate crystals, known as autoconia, which are typically anchored in gel in the utricle, dislocate and shift into one or more of the three semicircular canals filled with fluid, where they don't belong. If these particles amass in one of the canals in sufficient quantity, they disrupt the usual fluid movement that these canals employ to detect head movement. This causes the inner ear to transmit incorrect signals to the brain. About 86% of people with this form of vertigo find that it interrupts their daily life or causes them to miss days at work. While vertigo is often associated with inner ear problems, studies indicate that vitamin D deficiency could also play a part, particularly in recurrent benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, BPPV. This connection between vitamin D and vertigo offers new perspectives on understanding and managing this disruptive symptom, underscoring the multifaceted impacts of vitamin D on our health. Vitamin D plays a critical role in calcium regulation in the body, and the inner ear, which is essential for balance, also relies on calcium for its proper functioning. A lack of vitamin D may affect calcium homeostasis and impact inner ear function, potentially leading to vertigo. Vitamin D deficiency has been associated with vertigo in various studies. For example, in a study published in 2020 in the journal Neurology, researchers found that patients with recurrent BPPV had lower levels of vitamin D compared to the general population. The study also found that supplementation with vitamin D and calcium reduced the recurrence rate of vertigo episodes in patients with vitamin D deficiency. Also, a 2015 study published in the Journal of Vestibular Research found a correlation between low vitamin D levels and balance problems in older adults. This connection might extend to issues with vertigo, which often involve problems with balance and spatial orientation. Another study published in the journal Clinical Autolaryngology in 2013 explored the relationship between vitamin D levels and Meniere's disease a condition characterized by vertigo, hearing loss, and tinnitus. The study found that vitamin D deficiency was more common in individuals with Meniere's disease compared to healthy controls. It suggested that maintaining adequate vitamin D levels could potentially play a role in managing Meniere's disease symptoms. Vitamin D plays an important role in the body. It helps absorb calcium, promoting the growth and remodeling of bones, Vitamin D also influences cell growth, neuromuscular and immune function, and inflammation reduction. A deficiency in this nutrient can lead to a variety of health issues, including bone health issues. Vitamin D is critical for calcium absorption in the body. Without enough vitamin D, bones can become thin, brittle, or misshapen. Osteoporosis Vitamin D deficiency can lead to lower bone mineral density increasing the risk of fractures and osteoporosis, increased risk of certain diseases. Some research suggests that vitamin D deficiency could be linked to an increased risk of certain types of cancers, heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, and multiple sclerosis, among other autoimmune diseases, depression, and mental health issues. 
Several studies have found a link between vitamin D deficiency and depression or other mental health disorders. Immune function. Vitamin D is necessary for the proper functioning of your immune system, which is your body's first line of defense against infection and disease. A deficiency in vitamin D could lead to an increased risk of infection or immune-related disorders. Muscle function. Insufficient vitamin D levels can lead to impaired muscle function, which can increase the risk of falls, particularly in older individuals. You can become deficient in vitamin D for different reasons. Limited sun exposure. Vitamin D is synthesized in the skin when exposed to sunlight. Spending most of the time indoors, living in areas with limited sunlight, wearing excessive clothing that covers the skin, or using sunscreen consistently can reduce the body's ability to produce vitamin D. Inadequate dietary intake. Vitamin D is found naturally in certain foods, such as fatty fish, for example, salmon, mackerel, egg yolks, and fortified dairy products. If your diet lacks these sources, it can contribute to a vitamin D deficiency. Age. As people age, the skin's ability to produce vitamin D decreases. Older adults may have reduced exposure to sunlight and may also have dietary limitations that affect their vitamin D intake. Darker skin pigmentation. Melanin, the pigment responsible for skin color, reduces the skin's ability to produce vitamin D in response to sunlight. People with darker skin tones may require more sun exposure to generate adequate vitamin D. Malabsorption issues. Certain medical conditions, such as celiac disease, Crohn's disease, or liver or kidney disorders, can affect the absorption and metabolism of vitamin D in the body, leading to deficiencies. Obesity. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin, and excess body fat can affect its release into circulation, resulting in lower levels of vitamin D. Common symptoms associated with vitamin D deficiency can manifest in the following ways. Fatigue, feeling excessively tired or experiencing a lack of energy. Sleep disturbances, having trouble sleeping well or experiencing disrupted sleep patterns. Bone pain or achiness, experiencing discomfort or soreness in the bones and joints. Mood changes, feeling down, experiencing feelings of sadness or depression. Hair loss, noticing increased hair shedding or thinning. Muscle weakness, experiencing reduced muscle strength and potential difficulties with physical activities. Loss of appetite, having a decreased desire to eat or experiencing a decreased appetite. Frequent illnesses, being more prone to infections or getting sick more easily. Pale skin, noticing a lighter or paler complexion than usual. Vitamin D deficiency is a global health concern. Correcting vitamin D deficiency through supplementation can inhibit disease progression or lead to clinical improvements in various health conditions. A study published in Neurology, the Journal of the American Academy of Neurology, in August 2020, highlights the advantages of taking both vitamin D and calcium twice daily. This regimen can reduce the likelihood of vertigo recurrence for those individuals who are susceptible to this troubling and potentially hazardous physiological symptom. It's important to note that while vitamin D deficiency is associated with a number of health problems, the relationship is complex. Other nutritional and lifestyle factors, genetic factors, and environmental factors also contribute to these diseases. Always consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice. Now let's explore some strategies that can help you reduce vertigo symptoms and manage your condition effectively. A series of simple head movements, known as the Epley Maneuver, is used to treat BPPV. Many people with vertigo also benefit from vestibular rehabilitation training, VRT, which is a series of exercises for people with dizziness and balance problems. VRT is a form of brain retraining. It involves carrying out a special program of exercises that encourage your brain to adapt to the abnormal messages sent from your ears. During VRT, you keep moving despite feelings of dizziness and vertigo. Your brain should eventually learn to rely on the signals coming from the rest of your body, such as your eyes and legs, rather than the confusing signals coming from your inner ear. By relying on other signals, your brain minimizes any dizziness and helps you to maintain your balance. You can try sleep with your head somewhat elevated on two or more pillows. It's also advised to rise gradually when getting out of bed and to sit at the edge of the bed for a brief period before standing. Avoid stooping down to collect objects and refrain from stretching your neck too much, such as when reaching for an item on a high shelf. 
Ensure that you move your head cautiously and slowly during everyday activities. Antihistamines can be used to help relieve less severe nausea, vomiting, and vertigo symptoms. They work by blocking the effects of a chemical called histamine. The medicines are usually prescribed for 3 to 14 days, depending on which condition they're for. The two medicines that are usually prescribed are prochlorpyrazine and antihistamines. If these medicines are successful in treating your symptoms, you may be given a supply to keep at home, so you can take them the next time you have an episode of vertigo. In some cases, you may be advised to take long-term medication, such as beta histine, for conditions like Meniere's disease. Vertigo could also affect your ability to drive. You should avoid driving if you've recently had episodes of vertigo and there's a chance you may have another episode while you're driving.